Suta Uvacha Eti Kasharavakya Tam Ashrutya Bhagavat Katam Shatanandang Parang Lebe Mahabhagavato Dvija. Sri Sutta Goswami continued, My dear Brahman Shatta Vidura, the great devotee of the Lord, achieved transcendental bliss by hearing the narration of the pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead from the authoritative source of the sage Kausharava Maitreya, and he was very pleased. Trinada pi sunichena tarariva sahishnuna amanina manadena kirtaniya sada hari hare nama hare nama hare nama eva kivalam kalo nastyeva 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 gatiranyata hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you for allowing me to speak today. Por hoy. Coming to this temple is the best part of the year for me. Venir a este es la mejor parte del año para mí. I pray to Krishna that every Gaur Purnima I can be here with you. Because you make me feel so especial. I've been coming here every year since 2005. I hope that I can come every year until I die. Will you give me your blessings? Today's verse and purport is very nice by Srila Prabhupada. About two months ago, I found a very important instruction, which has been helping me in my preaching. There is a letter that Srila Prabhupada wrote to one of his disciples. And it said that by looking at the Sanskrit words and their meaning, you can get lots of material for preaching. Uno puede encontrar ahí mucho material para predicar. So there's a few words in this verse that I feel inspiration from. Y aquí se puede encontrar en, este, en estas palabras eh, mucha inspiración. One word in the verse, Ashrutya. Una palabra en, la, en el verso, Ashrutya. Our whole process of Krishna consciousness begins from hearing. And since we are rapidly approaching Gaura Purnima, I will be trying to talk as much as possible about Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya said to Prakashananda Saraswati, that devotional service begins from the stage of hearing. When you get the Brahman initiation, the spiritual master speaks the mantras into your ear. I consider myself very fortunate. Because in Vrindavan, Prabhupada personally gave me the Gayatri mantras. I sat right next to him. And we took out the sheet. And each word Prabhupada chanted and I had to repeat. All seven mantras, word for word. 
I can still remember that day. September 6, 1975. September 6 de 1975. So nice to hear. So hearing is what is the beginning. Sometimes in my preaching, uh, people ask me questions. And when I'm asked a particular question, I tell the people that if you have fallen, if you have gone astray, if you have gone into Maya, you can immediately link up again by listening to Srila Prabhupada. Myself personally, I spend as much time every day hearing Prabhupada singing. Especially when I'm traveling, all night while I'm sleeping, I have all of Prabhupada's bhajans and kirtans on my iPod. And all night that is playing. And do, throughout the day, when I'm studying, no matter what I'm doing, Prabhupada singing and chanting is there. Still, I cannot sing like him. Probably will never happen. But that's who I want to sing like. I love the sound of Prabhupada's voice. So, if you find yourself that you are not where you should be, if you find that you're not in the proper position, not to worry, just begin hearing, either through the audio tape or reading the books. As soon as you submissively start to hear, immediately you're linked. And it's just a matter of time when you will be back to your normal condition. So I emphasize this a lot. Your spiritual life begins from hearing. I do most of my preaching to householders. Especially grahastas that don't live in a temple. So, I try to impress upon them. I try to stress on them. I try to make it important for them. That they have to be very careful what they listen to. Because whatever you're listening to affects your consciousness. If you listen to uh, political talk, that is going to affect your consciousness. If you listen to non-devotee musica, 
That is going to affect your consciousness. So you have to be very careful what you allow to affect you. Because everything starts from hearing. And every day we sing one song. Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Chitte Te Koriya Aikya Arana Kori Homane Ash. I, yes, thank you. I simply want to hear the words coming from the mouth of my spiritual master. That is the essence of spiritual life. Uh, it's just like what is the greatest quality of a woman? It's her chastity. When a woman is chaste, she becomes super powerful. So we have to be chaste with our hearing. All right. So that's my first point. Then this next word. Bhagavat Katam. So there are two kinds of talks about Krishna. Prabhupada talks about this in the introduction to one of his books. Most likely Krishna book. That we as followers of Lord Chaitanya, we are supposed to propagate Krishna Katha. Krishna Katha means two things. The words spoken by Krishna, such as Bhagavad Gita, or words spoken about Krishna, Srimad Bhagavatam. And as followers of Lord Chaitanya, we are meant to preach this. We have to hear it and we have to preach it. And in order to preach it, we have to live it. So, we should be uh, filling our day as much as possible with this Krishna Kata. We all have so much uh, service that we have to do. But while we're doing that service, the hearing and the chanting of Krishna Kata should go on. Because that is our primary function. Lord Chaitanya emphasized there are nine processes of devotional service. But the first two are the most important. You cannot proceed to the other seven unless you are saturated with the first two. Hearing, chanting. So, if I'm hearing material sound vibration, that is what I'm going to chant. It's very simple. You can tell how advanced someone is 
By listening to the kind of speech. Someone who is very advanced in spiritual life. Nectar comes out of their mouth. Because they filled their ear with that nectar. Yes. In the very beginning of the Bhagavatam. It says that we are to drink Srimad Bhagavatam. But this is where you drink it. Not here. And that's why this Sutta Goswami, who's speaking today's verse, in the first canto told us that I heard Srimad Bhagavatam from Shukadeva Goswami with rapt attention. Yes, very, very fixed. Locked in. See. And that's why he was able to tell the Bhagavatam to the sages of Naimisharanya. So hearing and chanting is what this movement, Lord Chaitanya's movement is. And there is a song by Lochandas Thakur. And Prabhupada explains it. The line goes, Kevala Ananda Kanda. That uh, Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda gave us a very simple process. And that process is simply joyful. And it's the same uh, concept that also appears in today's verse. Ananda. Bliss. Bliss is not material happiness. We learn about material happiness in the 18th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Happiness in the mode of ignorance, passion, goodness. But it's material, limited, temporary. But Ananda, bliss, much, much, much different. Unlimited and always increasing. In the first Shikshastakam verse of Lord Chaitanya, Anandam Buddhi Vardhanam. Gracias. And that word again is there, Ananda. Ambuddhi. It's an ocean. Hearing and chanting about Krishna is an ocean of bliss. And that ocean is increasing. I live in California. The age of Cali, Cali, California. And you go to California and you'll see, yes, it is the country of the age of Cali. <laughs> and then, not very far, is the capital of Cali. <laughs> Las Vegas. <laughs> That's Cali Dam. <laughs> All sinful activity at your disposal. 
No restriction. 24-7. The casinos run. Ananda, like we do 24-hour kirtan. So, Las Vegas, 24 hours, illicit sex, intoxication, meat eating, gambling, 24-7, 365, no vacation. I once went there for preaching. We have a small temple there. And as soon as you enter that area, you can feel the whole sinful atmosphere. Passion and ignorance flowing. Just like when you go to Mayapur, you feel a different atmosphere. When you're in a big kirtan, different atmosphere. And when you go to Las Vegas, demasiado. <laughs> Muy malo. So, where I live, I am like two, three miles from the ocean. Now, we don't want that ocean to increase. Because if that ocean increases, bye bye. <laughs> but the ocean of bliss, that we want to increase. And that is the Sankirtan movement. Parang Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. Those who are involved in Sankirtan, they have access to that ocean of bliss. When you do your japa, this is also Sankirtan. When you go for the Harinam, that's Sankirtan. When you go out for preaching, that's Sankirtan. And especialmente, when you distribute Prabhupada's books, Parang Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. Correcto? Sí. And Lord Chaitanya explains one drop of that ocean of love of God, one drop can flood the universe. So Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda, they brought this process of hearing and chanting. And then, when you get tired, take prasad. That is the religion I joined. I did not join a Hindu religion. I joined the religion of chant, dance, take prasad. That's my religion. No prasad? Adios. <laughs> All right, then there's another word, param. param. Transcendental. Transcendental. Did I say that right? Sí. See, good. So, this we also learned from Bhagavad Gita. Esto lo del Bhagavad Gita. And this reminds me of something I would like to... Uh, instruct and teach you. If you study carefully Prabhupada's books, 
By far, he's quoting from Bhagavad Gita more than anything else. Bhagavad Gita is the basis of what we preach. So if you want to be expert preacher, you should learn Bhagavad Gita very, very nicely. Learn the verses and learn how to explain. Learning Bhagavad Gita is very, very fundamental. And from there, you can go to Bhagavatam, other books, but you have to have good foundation of Bhagavad Gita. So transcendental means beyond the modes of nature. Krishna says in chapter 18 of Gita that whether you're a demigod, whether you are a demigod, doesn't matter, whatever you are, if you're in this material world, you are under the influence of the modes of nature. But we should learn to become transcendental. And the process to become transcendental is called Krishna consciousness. Everything you're doing in this movement is helping you to become transcendental. Even if you are sweeping the floor, that is helping you to become transcendental. Even if you have to wash the pot in the kitchen, you are not just a pot washer. You are Krishna's servant. So whatever you do for this temple or for this movement is glorious. Don't see it mundane or material. Try to see it as a transcendental activity. Then you will be in very nice consciousness. But it all begins hearing and chanting. In today's purport, Prabhupada made a slight reference to a verse that you will learn in six chapters. In chapter 25, 5, 25, I know a few things. You will learn the beginning teachings of Kapila Dev. And there is a very big verse, which is also quoted by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Satang prasangan mamavirya sangvido bhavanti ritkarna rasayana kata tad joshanad ashu apavargavatmani shraddha ratir bhaktir anukramishyati that hearing in the association of devotees very powerful process 
vive con, en la asociación de los devotos es un proceso muy poderoso. And it enters the ear and goes to the heart. And if this goes on nicely, three things occur. First, you get faith. So if your faith is starting to uh, terremoto, Start to hear, especially Bhagavad Gita. Because Bhagavad Gita will make you faithful to Krishna. Okay, after faith, then the next phase is taste. In the beginning, we don't have much taste. But little by little, we become purified. And as you begin to get purified, you develop a spiritual taste. Otherwise, you cannot remain a devotee. Because we need pleasure. If we're not getting a spiritual taste, we will, by nature, we will go to the material taste. So those of you who have been here for many years, that is proof that you have got some taste. And you will get more taste. And the stage will come when you have so much taste. You will be intoxicated. And after taste, bhakti. Loving devotional service. And that service will become spontaneous. Just like I am very spontaneous for prasad. But I have to become spontaneous for hearing and chanting. Then, if you do all of this. The last line. Mahabhagavata. You'll become a great devotee. And how can you tell someone is a great devotee? Because they're able to make other devotees. Here is a Mahabhagavata. How many devotees he made? That is one of the proofs how he is Mahabhagavat. He made me a devotee. You should have seen me 1973. Demonico. Demoniaco. Hair down to here. Big beard. Smoking ganja. Illicit sex. Meat eating. Rock and roll. But Prabhupada, now, do I look better now? It's all because of Prabhupada. A great devotee makes others devotee. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.